he holds the keys. He who has the key of David is he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. Revelation 3 verse 7 For many people the keys to a car signify independence and freedom. So to be told that they can't drive anymore would be humiliating. Imagine how hard it would be to surrender the cherished privilege of traveling when and where they like. My friend gave up his keys at the age of 26 after surgery for a brain tumor left him with epileptic seizures. During a period of six months, he went from flying supersonic Air Force jets to having his driver's license revoked because of the seizures. He mourned his loss of ability, but his faith enabled him to embrace these limitations as a means of knowing Christ more intimately. He came to understand that his relationship with Jesus was more important than any privilege or possession. In the book of Revelation, the risen Christ identified himself to the church in Philadelphia as he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. Revelation 3 verse 7. The Lord Jesus holds the keys to salvation and blessing. When the time-bound keys that we have to give up are compared to the eternal keys that Christ holds, we bow at his feet in worshipful acceptance of his dealings. Jesus alone unlocks the door to everything that really matters. To accept God's will is to experience God's peace. Amen. Today's Daily Bread, Revelation 3, verses 7 to 13. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you because you have kept my command to persevere I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have that no one may take your crown. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches.